Hello everyone, my name is Harshad Rajankar. I am the liver specialist at Manipal Hospital, Karari, Pune. Uh, so, uh, pandemics have become a fashionable word uh, since the onset of the COVID pandemic. But another pandemic that has been going on for the past few years, decades, is the fatty liver. Fatty liver causes what is called as non-alcoholic steatal hepatitis. It means fatty liver that is not related to fat intake. And that is a pandemic. It affects a majority of the population. And in spite of knowing it, in spite of knowing that it can be harmful, not much has been done to prevent its spread. So what is fatty liver? Fat that is stored in the liver that can be damaging. Any fatty liver is harmful. So about 20% of patients with fatty liver will have irreversible liver damage and a large majority of them can go on to develop liver cirrhosis. Fatty liver is also a cause for high risk for liver developing liver cancer. So what causes fatty liver? If you consume more calories and don't spend all of them, the body will store it. Part of this story is in the liver. The fat that is stored in the liver, calories stored in the liver contribute to fatty liver. So carbohydrates that are consumed are generally for spending. Carbohydrates that are stored will eventually contribute to developing fatty liver. On the whole, fat intake, protein intake and fiber intake does not contribute as much to fatty liver as carbohydrate intake does. So carbohydrate, uh, carbohydrate intake should be limited. Timing of food intake also becomes important because our bodies make hormones in the first half of the day or at sunrise. Calories that are consumed in the morning are calories that the body can spend. Calories that we consume in the evening, as most of us do, are calories that have to be stored because we don't spend them. And these, uh, these calories that are stored end up contributing to fatty liver. So the bottom line is consume less, spend more, eat at the right times and eat the right food. Any further questions that you have, please feel free to contact us. Thank you.